What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 86 of the Monday Night Wars Save. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is the man who finally hit the One Ring Angel, but did it right next to the ropes, J-Mac Gaming. What a move. What, what a move. move. What a match. No, nah, well, not what a match. Three stars. Oh, okay. Three stars. Easy. All right, well. Easy. Cody I'm Mike shot. Elgin. What a match. Oh, that was a match. Damn right. <sighs> Uh, and speaking of things that are great matches, we have a good Nitro booked today, and we are going to run it right now. So without further ado, let's start the Nitro. Alrighty, so in a pre-show match, Vicious and Delicious take on Chris Canyon and Yuji Nagata. Yuji Nagata defeated Scott Norton with the Exploder. Uh, Chris Canyon and Yuji Nagata have great chemistry while teaming oh, together. Oh, man. <laughs> what a, That's wonderful. <laughs> what a team. What a team. Shane Douglas versus Mike Awesome. This was the pre-show match that uh, J-Mac made. I uh, got a 54. Shane Douglas defeated Mike Awesome with the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Yeah, It deserved better. All right, let's get into it. All righty. So we start off Nitro. Randy Savage comes down to the ring. He's got his WCW title. Of course, he retained against the uh, Hall and Nash in the triple threat. So he comes down to the ring and he says... Arrow Wild, I did what no one said I could do. Oh, yeah. I defended the world title. Macho man Randy Savage proved why I am the greatest wrestler in the world. Oh, yeah. And all of the rocket fuel pumping through my oh, yeah, savage veins. Oh, yeah, brother. I'm going to take this title all the way to the top because I'm the cream of the crop. And fucking Bischoff comes down to the ring and he says, "Randy, I'm uh, I'm in, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm impressed. I didn't have you. Uh, pred I didn't predict you to win, but don't get too excited because tonight in the main event we are going to have a 15 man battle royal, and it will determine who is going to face you at our next pay per view for that title. And don't worry, Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan and Bret Hart are all in that match." So I wouldn't get too uh, too comfortable with that title because at the pay per view it might be your very last night with it. Ooh. Randy Savage. Randy Savage looks at him and says, "Eric Bischoff, you're a bad mamma jamma. Oh yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> and then kicks him right in the crotch. Bischoff falls down to the ring, and Randy Savage hits him with a macho elbow from the top rope. And then about that decent wrestling, but a little heat. Christopher Daniels defeated Rey Mysterio with a handful of tights. Rey was not happy to take this, oh, to take no, this loss. Oh, no, he was not. He was furious. I'm going to have to give him a raise or something. He was pissed. There we go. And about oh, that Booker three... T, no. Broken ankle. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Why? That fucking sucks. Damn it. <laughs> About that great wrestling and good heat, Booker T and Ric Flair defeated the matches of 2004 holds and 1036 when Booker T defeated Dima Lenko by pinfall with a Harlem hangover. Booker T and Ric Flair make defense number one of their world tag team titles and probably their only defense. Oh, man. It, it, it might not be like a long injury. Oh, just a broken ankle. <laughs> yeah. All um. right. Thanks, Paul Wardendorf. All right. Dean Malenko is uh, not celebrating his victory. Dean Malenko and Chris Jericho are in the <laughs> ring. Uh, Dean Malenko, you know, selling selling the, uh, the, uh, the move on him by Booker T. And Jericho gets in the ring. He grabs the microphone and says, Dean, there's something I really want to get off uh, my chest here. He says, you know, me and you, we've been tag team partners now for, for, a little bit, for a little while. We've been the masters of 2004 holds. And while we just lost our tag team titles, I want to just say being the tag team champion with you has been the absolute worst time of my career. I have been anchored. I have been weighed down by your useless ass, and I am sick of it. I have all the charisma in my pinky that you have in your entire body. I'm the brains. I am the talent of this entire team, and I'm sick and tired of carrying you. And then hits him with the microphone, puts him in the walls of Jericho, or the lion tamer, as some would say, and uh, makes Dean tap out, but he refuses to break the hold. Not until referees get involved. 
does. He finally let go, and then he just starts kicking Di Malenko in the head. Di Malenko has been taken out at the hands of Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho has officially turned heel, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Di Malenko was my favorite. I hope he... Uh... Hope he gets his win back. Or like the Masters of 2004 holds are no more. Mm. One of the best tag teams probably of this series. I would say so. Uh, it's gonna turn him. Uh, recent shocks. Uh, turn suffered. It didn't go down well. That's okay. Yeah. It went down well in my in my mind. Oh boy. Alrighty, so in about that fantastic heat and great wrestling, Goldberg defeated Lex Luger by pinfall with a spear and makes defense number five of his WCW World Television title. Oh, man. The match suffered with uh, no selling on display. And the UGG storyline was advanced but lost heat. But that's okay because we're starting a new storyline with Goldberg. <laughs> oh, boy. Goldberg is in the ring and he's saying... That he is unbeatable. No one can touch Goldberg. Nobody. There's he he has a locker room full of chumps and he needs a locker room full of warriors. And right as he said that, the some music hits. And then the warrior himself comes down the ramp and sprints into the ring. And he says, Goldberg, the ultimate warrior is going to rain down on you. <laughs> and, then, and Goldberg just looks at him like, I'm just like like oh my god it's the it's the Ultimate Warrior, <laughs> and then the Warrior looks at him and says, I want a match against the Big Goldberg. <laughs> and Goldberg looks at him and says, You want a match against me, Warrior? Well, guess what? You got it. Damn. Goldberg Warrior. The Goldberg Warrior match. I didn't know. I didn't want to see. You do want to see it. Mm. All righty. So, Raven comes down the ring to celebrate his newly won United States Championship. He is celebrating. He's gloating. Diamond Dallas Page comes down to the ring and says, D Raven, I want my rematch. All right, I've already made it official. You know, it's signed, sealed. I'm getting it tonight. And that match is right now. Oh, damn. So in about that superb wrestling and great heat, Raven defeated Diamond Dallas Page with a pile driver and makes defense number one of his United States heavyweight title. So Raven gets in the ring, is celebrating, and then all of a sudden we hear music of a wrestler we have not ever heard the music of before. And uh, a man walks down the ring, and it is none other than WCW's latest free agent, Ahmed! I was gonna, I was gonna wait until, he, but then he was. Well, like, that's fine. Ahmed Johnson walks into the ring. He grabs a microphone and says, "Maybe you've never heard of me. My name is Ahmed." And he says, "Now, Raven, I've came here for one reason and one reason only: to win championships and to prove why I'm the best." Now, I see you. I see you with your flock, and you know what? That means nothing to me. Your flock is laughable. Ha! And he laughs right in Raven's face. He says, <laughs> Low D? Who the hell is Low D? Sick Riggs. boy? Riggs? Gee, the only thing you got going for you is Benoit and Kidman. And, Ki and the only reason Kidman's still with you is because he ain't smart enough to know any better. And the only reason Benoit's with you is, well, to be honest, I don't know why Benoit's <laughs> with you. He's wasting his c career with you. So you know what? I'm going to not only take that belt from you, but I'm going to single-handedly do what Tommy Dreamer couldn't do and what any other wrestler who got in your way couldn't do. I'm going to single-handedly dismember the flock. Now, I know, you know, that's the flock. It's a big group, so I, I got some help, all right? Get them, boys. And then Mr. Cat Miller and Ice Train come from behind <laughs> and beat Raven up. <laughs> <laughs> the nation has come to WCW. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the decent match. The Steiner brothers defeated the Faces of Fear at 930 when Scott Steiner defeated the Barbarian with the Frankensteiner. Scott Steiner carried the match and got a 78. <sighs> yeah, 94. And then 94. 63, 61, 66. Because there's nothing finer than Scott Steiner. Oh, before... Oh, what the fuck? That's good. Alrighty, and in a good match, Bret Hart won a battle royal 
The other members of the Final Four were Sting, Hollywood Hogan, and Scott Hall. Sting was the final elimination. The Big Show got the most eliminations. And Kevin Nash was in the Final Five. He was going to go eliminate Sting. Um, but while he was doing that, Sylvester Stallone got in the ring. And he was going to go, uh, you know, Rocky Balboa punch Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan sidestepped him, and he knocked the fuck out of Kevin Nash. So Sting... Being the sly, cheeky bastard that he actually – actually, Scott Hall, being the sly, cheeky bastard that he is, took the unconscious Kevin Nash and threw him over the top rope to eliminate him. So we're getting Bret Hart versus Randy Savage at the next pay-per-view. I was going to tell the story about how Scott Steiner mocked to Jerry's push. Oh, yes. What a mean person. What a, what a, what a dick. And uh, we close the show out with Bret Hart and Randy Savage uh, – Staring, staring each other down and sharing some words amongst each other. Damn. You're going to get a 90, calling it. Hey. Ain't got a 90. You barely squeaked out ahead of me. And nice. Fucking 91 this week. Alrighty, so two great shows of wrestling on a Monday, and Justin just barely squeaks it out. So let us know in the comments what you thought of the show. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to both of us. And, uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. And remember. Fuck Cody Rhodes. Go Cody Rhodes!